How's it punters? Welcome back to Best Sports Betting. And in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at another Bet Games Lucky 7 strategy. The strategy was posted on a popular Facebook group. It looked pretty interesting, so I thought I would try it out. So what the strategy calls for is basically betting on the first two balls. Uh, you're going to be betting on the first two balls to be odd or even, even or odd, or both are going to be even. And I have tested the strategy before. I had no luck. And just looking at the results coming out from this draw, this would have lost as well. But anyway, let me explain it to you. So this punter says that you should bet 100 Rand on each of those three markets. Now to find these markets, we go to odd even. And we are looking for the first two balls. So he says that you need to play 100 Rand on first odd and then the second ball even. So that is one of these markets. The first ball dropped shall be odd and then even. It says to put a hundred rand on that. So let's go ahead and place that. And then the second bet is to play even odd. So it's the same as this one. It's just the opposite way around. So the first ball dropped shall be even. The second ball dropped shall be odd. Let's put a hundred rand on that. We're getting pretty good odds on these which is why I think this is quite a popular strategy. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of it though. But anyway, let's get the third bet down, which is to play first two balls are going to be even, which is this one over here. So I've now placed 300 Rand worth of bets. And apparently the returns on this is going to be, to be between 70 and 90 Rand. Now, what I don't like about this strategy is that if the first two balls are odd, as you can see in the last two draws over here, then your bet's going to lose. You're laying out 300 Rand to make 70 to 90 Rand, you're getting very, very low return on your profit there, or, or return on your kind of bet there, uh, which is one of the reasons that I don't really like this strategy. As I said earlier, I did have a quick test of the strategy, and you can see here in my, my betting history that I tried it, but yeah, I was not a big fan of it. Uh, it didn't work first time. The second time, I would have lost another 300 bucks. So I would have been down 600 Rand on something that's only going to be returning, you know, 70 to 90 Rand. I'd rather have lost that money playing on uh, something else, you know, maybe total sums, maybe individual balls, that kind of thing. I think you get a lot more value with Lucky 7 when you play those kind of draws. You can also get some very nice odds. Uh, you can also get up to 2,000 to 1, which is pretty tasty. <laughs> so I'm not going to recommend this for, for punters for now, but we are going to let the strategy play through. We've got the draw coming up in a minute. I do want you guys to see what happens with this. I'm hoping it's going to win this time. Uh, the The last time I tested it, as I said, it did lose. But, you know, with the odds like this, the odds are in our favor. But when it goes wrong, it tends to go very bad. <laughs> so as you can see, there would have been a 600 Rand loss if I had backed that strategy. What makes you lose in this strategy is if two even, oh sorry, two odd balls are drawn in the beginning. If you see an odd ball and another odd ball, you're done. You're busto. Strategy's done. And it doesn't leave much room for error. I mean, you'd need to have a really big bankroll in order to make a, a success of this strategy. But yeah, we've got a couple seconds left until the draw. And we're going to be hoping that we're not going to see two evens. Um, and, and just to put it in perspective, I'm going to have to win this bet four times in a row to make up the, the losses that I made on the first one. That's assuming this one wins. But yeah, let's, let's have a look and see how the draw goes. What's nice about this is you know the result of your bet within the first two balls. So there's no waiting for the rest of the draw. You can uh, skip away or go to another game. Or if it loses and you're angry, you can just turn your phone off. All right, first ball, it is odd. Second ball is odd as well. So there we go. There's another fine example of this short odd bet uh, strategy losing. It would have lost three times in a row. Now I've now lost 600 bucks just testing this out. Uh, and if I'd been testing it thoroughly, I probably would have been down about 900 Rand. So this is a caution to you guys who are gonna be trying out the strategy. Um, you know, with my luck, I should have just been betting on the first two balls are going to be odd. And I would have got a pretty decent return on that. I mean, let's just have a quick look at that. What would that return?
to and be 390 Rand, I'd be making 90 Rand on that. But yeah, guys, that's a strategy. Um, if it's something that you guys are having some success with, some success with, let me know in the comments below. And I'd, I'd love to check out some of the other strategies you guys are using. Guys, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Cheers.